common approach to creating a dramatic moving camera shot in virtual production is to actually use a locked off camera on a green screen plate that's not moving, like this shot here, and place it into a scene and move the camera around that image plane. The only problem is if you get too far off the axis of that image plane, it's really obvious that this is distorted and not natural. So to correct this, one of the approaches is to have this image plane automatically point at the camera at all times. Let's take a look at how we can set that up here in Unreal Engine. So I'll put this demo together in a simpler level so it's easier to see everything that's happening. So I've got a plane in place and it's got an image on it and we'll just want that to always face a moving camera. So let me go into cinematic here and drag out a camera that we can have animate and we'll just kind of position this into place. In fact, one of the nice things about cameras is they have a built in look at. So I can go to the camera properties over here and tell it to enable look at target and we'll want the target to actually be our plane. So now anywhere this camera moves, it's always going to be looking at that plane. All right, so um, one of the things that we'll want to do is animate this camera. So let's create a cinematic, you know, a level, a level sequence. And we'll just call it cam anim to animate the camera. And we'll make sure we select the camera, add a track, add to the sequencer that particular camera. And finally, we just want to move it around a little bit for the purposes of this demo. So let's deactivate the look at because it's kind of messing up the transformations here. Okay, so I've got this location. I'm at the beginning of the sequence. So I'll just put a key for location there. And then I'll just move it across to over here. Oops, sorry, probably should go to the end of the sequence first and then move this over. Great. And we'll key the location at the end. So now if we were to play this animation, we should see the camera moving. Okay, very nice. So next, uh, let's reactivate this camera look at. And so now throughout this animation, the camera will automatically be looking at that plane and you can see how the perspective shift is happening on that plane as it is, uh, you know, the camera is moving. So we're just going to want this to face the camera at all times. Unfortunately, with the plane, there isn't that little setting of, you know, look at uh, automatically. So we're just going to need to do that with a blueprint. The only thing is that the uh, blueprint look at functionality is designed in such a way that it follows kind of the, the architecture of a camera where that positive X axis of the camera, this red line, that's the direction the lens is facing. This is the same for Unreal characters and most other objects in Unreal. It assumes that the positive X axis is the direction it's facing. However, our plane has its positive X axis facing along the side. So the aim calculation isn't going to quite work if we use it directly on the plane. What we'll do instead is create an empty actor to put the plane underneath hierarchically in the uh, project here so that we can have the actor aim at the camera and then the plane will simply go along for the ride. So, you know, if you've worked in 3D before, this actor is basically very similar to a null or a locator. So we're just going to essentially parent this plane under that. So now I've got that actor out here. I'm going to rename it. So I'll click it, hit F2 for rename and call it plane aimer. And because I'm calling it plane aimer and the plane itself is called plane, now they're right next to each other in the hierarchy. It's a lot easier to work with them together. So I can take the plane, drag it and drop it onto the actor. And now the plane is underneath the actor. With that, I could select the plane and bring it to exactly the same location as the actor. So I'll just double click on our location transform for the plane and go 0, 0, 0 each time I'm just hitting tab in between to move from one to the next. That gives me a plane directly on that plane aimer. If I select the plane aimer, move this up. Uh, one only final thing is that the positive x-axis of this aim actor is facing the wrong direction for our plane. So if I were to aim this at the camera, you know, if I, I just have this actor selected, if I hit E and I rotate this around, we can't see the plane because it's facing the wrong way. So I'm just going to select the plane and rotate it 
around 180 degrees. And so now we should be in good shape if I hit W, where I select the plane aimer and its positive x-axis is the direction that the plane is facing. So that's it. All we need to do is set up our blueprint that will update the direction of the plane aimer to face the camera uh, for every tick, you know, every frame of the uh, level. So we'll just go into blueprints and open level blueprint. I've got a demo already in there. I'm just going to select all of this and delete it. We'll start from scratch. Now, uh, a couple things that we'll need is we'll need to know where the plane is, so or the plane actor that is. So I'll bring out the plane actor, and I'll need the camera as well. So I'll take that cine camera and bring that into the blueprint. And then I want to know the location of each of these. So I'll just drag off of the plane and say uh, get actor location. Is that invisible here? get actor location right there all right so we got that and then I'll copy that and paste that and just connect the camera so now we have the location of the camera location of the plane now we're just gonna find what is the aim rotation to do to get this to aim at that and so we'll just drag off of the return value here and say uh, find uh, look at yeah find look at rotation there we go now we have the location of the plane aimer going to the start, and we just want that camera to be the target, so we'll just connect that. Now, one thing is that we only want the rotation of the plane to happen on the, you know, this z-axis, this vertical axis. So we just pivot back and forth, but we never accidentally lean backwards or you know rotate and roll or anything like that. So I'm going to take this return value, which is a rotation, drag and release, and we're just going to break it apart. So I type in break, and there's break rotator, and that gives us separate outputs for X, Y, and Z. Uh, finally, we will make a rotator uh, based on just the Z. So I'm just going to right click and type in make rotation, make, make rotator. Here it is. And we'll just connect the Z of our break to the Z of the make. The other two rotations will remain zero and this will just always be facing vertically that way and we won't accidentally roll it or pitch it we're only going to spin in yaw all right and so the final piece of this is simply to make sure that we feed this return value into a command to actually apply the rotation to that actor and that's just a command called uh, set actor rotation so I'll right click and say set actor uh, rotation there we are set actor rotation and it automatically brought in the plane aimer for us as the target since that was selected that was fine I'll just leave that now but I could just as easily use the same reference as we got in the beginner uh, beginning of our little routine and then we'll just take the return value of this make rotator feed that in there uh, final final piece is just to connect that to an event tick so that this gets triggered for every tick on the level so we'll just drag that out and type in event tick there we are excellent okay so now for every tick on the level the rotation of that aiming actor will be set and it'll just update based on wherever that camera is so we'll do a compile all good save all good close it up we'll set our animation into motion and then when we hit play to start running that blueprint our plane should start pivoting back and forth and so even though we can't really see the camera right now, we can see that the plane is facing it. In fact, if I want, I can just hit stop for a moment here. And let's select that camera actor. And we should be able to find a checkbox here for uh, camera mesh hidden. This is basically hiding it during the game. I'm just going to uncheck that. So now when we hit play, now we get to see the camera and we get to see the plane. So that's how we get a plane to always look at a camera and that'll get rid of any distortions that we might see as a camera moves through a shot and we use a green screen plate that is uh, shot from a static camera. Hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.